بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پروف فرام البخاری اینڈ مسلم حدیت ٹو وزٹ گریو یارڈ فار مین اینڈ وومین ایٹ دا ٹائم آف بریل آلسو اے اتھنٹک حدیت رپورٹیڈ بائی مسلم ویئر ان دا پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیٹ آئی یوز ٹو فار بیڈ یو فرام وزٹنگ دا گریوس بٹ وزٹ دیم ناؤ فار ان ڈیڈ they will remind you of the hereafter this give permission for both men and women not only men reported by muslim another hadith from al bukhari and muslim narrated from anas ibn malik who said the prophet passed by a woman who was crying next to a grave so he said to her have fear of allah and be patient so she responded go away f- for you have not been afflicted with my affliction she had not recognized him so it was said to her that was the prophet so she went to the door of the prophet and did not find any guards there so she said to him i did not recognize you so He said, Indeed, patience is to be observed at the first strike of calamity. So here the Prophet ﷺ did not forbid her from visiting the grave. This proved that it is allowed for women also to visit at burial time as it was a first strike at as it is said it was first strike of calamity a question regarding is it right to women to attend the burial nowhere it is prohibited in the hadith as far as my knowledge is concerned rather in the hadith it is there that before rasulullah forbidden both for men and women to go to the graveyard but later he permitted because to take ibrat that is to take lessons from it that we have also to die one day like this uh, we must prepare, and we must prepare for it uh, to get successful after death for the eternal life that is to achieve jannah so women also need to take a lesson like this not only men but why not women go to the burial place that is the main thing to take a lesson for both men and women by seeing life the end of hours in the graves no one will go with us in the graves as said in the hadith only our deeds are with us not even our bodies that also buried in the layers of the deep soil above it to mix with it this is so touching to the hearts for the practical lesson and regarding the coffin burial here in the us canada it is not allowed to do without coffin I heard the reason for that is they say that the soil of this part of land is loose and wet uh, so it will not bear the load or what uh, I don't know prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forbidden wailing on the graves and praying salah on the graveyard and the polytheistic that is shirkia visit that is for example visit uh, to dargahs or saints tombs with purpose other purpose than the sunna way a hadith related to it the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam invoked the curse of, of allah upon them of the proof of this from this hadith describing as those who set up a mosque and place lights over them that is on the graves does no one establishes mosque the place of worship and lights over the grave 
accept the superstitious misguided beliefs that that is the polytheistic visit that that is it is shirk to visit the graveyard for other purpose and acts other than the sunna way for both men and women it is prohibited it is permitted only in a sunna way that is as for the visitation that is based upon the sunna this is where one's intent is to supplicate for the disease this is allowed for both men and women in journal aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said how should i address uh, address them o messenger of allah he replied say salam alaikum peace be upon you the inhabitants of this place from the believers and the muslims and may allah mercy be upon those who have gone ahead from us and those who will come later on and indeed we shall we shall join you narrated by muslim